Hello everyone. Welcome back to the new session. So in this session, we are going to deal with the front end. And as per the component diagram on the screen, we can see here, Node.js we have already done. The fabric network is already done. Now it's time to start our React server and start the UI client. So we have only one service right now and both of the organization will be able to access this user interface through this same UI. So user from the organization one and two, they will be accessing and accordingly we will be switching the context. But in actual case, when we are talking about decentralized and distributed systems, so each organization should have their own actually, because they will be hitting their own API server as well. And API servers have confidential data. That's why if they have different UI itself, that would be a great. So this, uh, this UI is totally written in the React. So I am assuming you are already familiar with the basic of the JavaScript and the React. Because React is the state forward again. So I, I just taken the reference from the Argon dashboard. So there is a template Argon dashboard. So I just updated some of the changes. Yeah, of course, I we added up our own custom implementation for creation of the user, getting the user creation of the contract, getting the history of the contract. So a lot of things we have implemented or updated existing. So we will be going through each and every component, but I will just show you what are the different components we have. I'm opening the React UI. So don't worry, we will run again from the scratch. So this is already running for me, but we will be doing again, uh, running of this UI from the scratch. Okay, this is the UI where sometimes I'm calling document management, contract management, agreement management. Those are kind of same thing only. Okay, when we started ingestion of the data, bootstrapping one script is there. By default, we are adding one admin user for organization one and one admin user for organization two. So I will be using the same credentials for logging into the system. Okay, on this home screen, we have two things. First one is the login screen. Second one is the registration screen here. I will be just letting you know the different components available on our front end. So this is the registration screen. So a new user can get registered and this is the login screen. So I will be logging into the system and let's see how we are creating the contract. We are creating the users and everything. So bootstrap.js we have static user data and here we have the username and the password password is in the dot .env file so test admin at rate one two three is the password by default so i'm just adding here admin at rate one two three okay we can see here what are the contracts we created earlier so this is the overall dashboard in here we can see all the con contract details contract list we can even create a new contract as well from here itself like title contract type contract details uh, start date end date comment on any uh, document and finally we can just click on the submit as well submit contract and cancel contract okay so this is the one part another one thing we have different section here in progress contract active contract expiring soon contract and all contract so this is common for organization one and two because this is the generic implementation I did for organization one and two. If organization one is getting logged in, so he will be able to see his own contract as well as created what some of the contract with other. So in progress, active active contract will be when we add any kind of approvals, they, the status of the agreement is getting changed. Uh, in the API, we already seen and we will be able to see kind of additional approvals for them. Okay, expiring soon contract will be able to display here. And finally, all contracts. So it's fetching data from the blockchain. Right now, we can see there are total four contracts. Active in progress, active in progress. Okay. So we can even refresh the contract as well. It will just refresh the list if we let us contract get added from the postman client or somewhere. Okay, let's go to the in progress contract. Here, if the contracts are in progress, there wouldn't be any approval because when you are adding approval, then only we are making that active. So here we can just view the data. Uh, let's go to the active contract. So we'll get more idea on that. Okay, in the active contract, uh, we have some kind of approval. So one approval, I think it is there, view. This is the contract details. And here we can see in the timeline view manner, contract approvals, like first uh, some uh, user, the same user has already approved this contract. We can just add additional approvals and we'll show you when we're talking about a specific components. Okay, so here we have a document as well. So this document is signed the URL to S3 bucket. And we're storing these all the documents associated with the contract in the S3. And here, when I click on the show file, it will redirect it to the 
new tab and it will display the PDF. This signed this is the signed URL. So we'll be able to access this PDF itself. Okay. So this is the overall about the contract view contract. Okay, uh, in the in progress contract, there is additional one thing. When if we wanted to approve any kind of contract here, so we'll be able to do it. Okay, description, action, comment, and status. Okay, so we are just adding that contract approval. Uh, finally, once we submit it, it will get added as approval. Okay, this current user will do that. And we'll be able to view all the uh, these approvals here in the contract journey. I will add multiple approvals when we are dealing with actual let operations. But yeah, this is the one flow. Next one is the admin. Okay, this section will be visible only for the admin user. So make sure you are logged in as admin and then only you will be able to see these users. Here, this is the user uh, list. Max, all the users are max only username. Admin, these are the different email. Okay, status is active. All of them are active and department is a legal. So we can add any kind of department. It's totally up to us. And we can activate or deactivate user depending on this uh, criteria. So they won't be able to do any kind of operation if they are inactive. And here we have pagination as well, a small pagination you can see next and previous. Okay, and the contract history. So we will be able to see the contract history when we are adding the contract ID and just show click on the show history. We can just see the whole history for the contract. And finally, user profile. It's just kind of by default templates we have, but just, just I'm adding some additional information. And again, I'm again mentioning, so this template has been taken from the Argon dashboard. So there's a free UI templates we have there. I just updated this dashboard, admin and contract and removed unnecessary things for us. It's just very straightforward, but for understanding full stack application, it is very important to implement this kind of full stack application from front end. We'll be invoking some of the APIs. Again, we have used the Redux here from the front end. So what you are doing, operations we are doing, it is going through the Redux. Another one thing, we have purely written all the components in the functional approach. So it's very easy to understand as well, like using hooks and everything. This is the latest code only. Another one. So the, in the template, we have a lot of things already. Uh, so React Strap is the library used for the boost, uh, adding some kind of stylings and all. So you can just utilize it and you can change this as per your requirement. So when we're talking about the integration, front end, our backend APIs are now up and running. So it's working fine because I showed you from the Postman as well, all the APIs are working as expected. And from the front end, we have to integrate this API. I already have written this all the code. Anyway, in the upcoming videos, we will be going through each and every component so that you will get a basic idea how we can write or how we can update the, the different components in our React application itself. Uh, this was the introduction of uh, to the React UI, I mean, different components are there. Some of the functionality you won't be able to see, but yeah, logout is working. My profile is also working here and we have some additional information. Yeah, this is very basic UI, we can say. We are just doing the CRUD operations. First one for the user, second one for the agreement and approval also we are doing. So these are the different things we are going to do in the actual application as well. We'll integrate these all these API by just checking the implementation because writing the code, it will take a lot of time. And the purpose of this course is learning the hyperledger fabric along with the front end and uh, back end. So yeah, dedicatedly time we uh, when writing the code, it will take, it requires a lot of time. So that's why I just skipped that part. I have already written the code and we will just go through the code one by one, these all the components and we'll get easily. And even we can update any point of time, any kind of components and get reflected those changes here. Redux is also important thing. So we will go through uh, each and every component in the upcoming video but yeah this was the overall ui we will be dealing with in the next some of the videos like five to ten so accordingly we will be ingesting the transactions to the blockchain we will be able to see as well here that's it for this video in the next video we will just check the register and login components thank you so much